Here we go. Hey, what's up, guys? Andrew back with Pistol Chronicles. I got my minions with me today. We're gonna be co-hosting on on this blog. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about <laughs> something very specific with the NRA. Uh, looks like there are four bills coming through the pike this month that are gonna be pretty bad for gun owners in California. We're talking to the camera, guys. We're talking to the camera. Well, yeah. We're gonna make these very quick. Very Assembly Bill 156 by. Oh, what do you want to say? And peace. And thanks for talk. And thanks for coming here today. My grandpa died this weekend. His <laughs> grandpa did not die this weekend. My <laughs> grandpa <laughs> died a couple months ago. And I have a baby cousin. Stop. Stop. So see you soon. See you soon. <laughs> thanks, buddy. And, and his name's Baby Aiden. <laughs> That's right, Baby Aiden. Uh, Assembly Bill 156 um, started out as legislation to combat global warming, but now it requires the Attorney General to maintain information about ammunition transactions and vendor licenses. I don't know how you go from global warming to keeping tabs on ammunition transactions. That's horrible. We can't do it. We, we should not be standing for that at all. Uh, Assembly Bill 857 was introduced as legislation to reduce greenhouse gases. I don't even know what that even means. I don't, I don't have a science background, so I don't know what the hell they're trying to reduce greenhouse gases. We all know global warming is a farce. And hey, I'm making a video. Sit quiet. You guys are supposed to co-host, not co-distract. Hey. <laughs> and yeah, Assembly Bill 857 now serves as restriction on curios relics and home built firearms now that's pretty damn sneaky Deleon because I know you're a ghost gun um, oppositionalist but that's not gonna work for us uh, nice try though we caught you uh, assembly bill 1135 was introduced as legislation from the Kings River groundwater sustainability it now reclassifies certain semi-automatic weapons as assault weapons. Fucking California legislators, man. I just We just keep fucking us left and right, and this is just going nonstop. But you know what, guys? Uh, uh, Representative Levine and Ting, uh, we're on you. We're on you. We're watching this. Um, let's see here. Uh, continuing on with it, it says that the change... Um, any magazine capable of being removed from the firearm without disassembly of the firearm would be classified in this as, as an assault weapon. So I gotta take apart my fucking weapon in order to reload it? Are you kidding me? That's unacceptable. Um, it would require that the firearms have a tool such as rifles equipped with a bullet button to do this. Absolutely not. Completely intrusive on Second Amendment. This is not, Can you imagine having to shoot 10 rounds and then having to take your whole weapon apart again? to um, reload your weapon not happening um, and last but not least assembly bill 1511 it was introduced as an energy savings bill but it now uh, limits the ability to loan a firearm between two law-abiding citizens for like a hunting trip or home protection so I've loaned out firearms before to my friends and I've said hey you know what why don't you borrow this train with it give it back to me in a month let me know what you think I've had friends loan me weapons as well, say, hey, tr uh, did this modification, let me know what you think. Um, so we're not going to have that ability now, and I think that's kind of crappy. But, you know, the, the liberals here, I'm telling you, they're getting ruthless. They've been ruthless, and it's just making it worse and worse. But anyways, I just wanted to quickly update you on what NRA sent me. Uh, so if you're an NRA member, you're getting these updates nonstop. Make sure to check out NRA ILA, and we'll check in again. Thanks.